Um, hello, and what we are going to be today talking about is basically a hemifacial spasm. Um, so the hemifacial spasm is a neuromuscular condition wherein, uh, because of the compression of the facial nerve, what actually happens is you can see this kind of spasms on all the muscles of the uh, facial expression which are supplied by the facial nerve. Um, so our patient uh, has been very kind that uh, she's come, uh, she's agreed to be on uh, on our video. And what she had was a hemifacial spasm, which was involving all her orbicularis, her zygomaticus minor, major, and now in extensive conditions, what actually happens is sometimes the platysma muscle also gets involved. You can see this kind of muscle spasms, which you can you know kind of see the platysma pulling, and of course the DAO is also pulling. Her, you know, corner of the mouth. Now, what I have done uh, previously about a few weeks back is basically I have, you know, injected botulinum toxin into her orbicularis um, oculi area, and also I have hit on to her zygomaticus minor, major, and levator levi superioris allicnazi also. So this part of her upper face is now quite stable, and she doesn't have spasm on this. Now, in aggressive conditions, you can see this kind of spasms, which are basically caused because of the contraction into the platysma muscle. Now, the platysma is actually a very wide, broad muscle in the neck area, which starts actually from the fascia um, above the pec major and the clavicle here. And it's very superficial, comes and gets attached to the lower part of the mandible here. And sometimes it actually goes on to the, um, to the corner of the mouth as well. So this normally many a times what we do is we inject botulinum toxin as an anti-aging um, uh, injection technique wherein like we see the platysma bands. So what I will be doing here is basically injecting botulinum toxin uh, for this kind of hemifacial spasms. Now if you see she is quite okay now but the spasms actually comes in when she starts talking or, uh, uh, or, or, or on movements this spasm starts you could have seen that earlier. Now, what I'm going to be doing here, as I said, uh, now that it is stopped, uh, so what I will do here is, this is my lower part of the mandible and I know my platysma gets inserted here and sometimes it also comes here to this area. Um, so what I'll be doing is, I'll be injecting uh, about uh, uh, three units here onto the lower border, three units here and since it was very aggressive, and she has some functions coming up so i wanted the spasms not to come in so i'll be injecting into this three points um, into the platysma which is getting inserted into the lower border here also what i will do is i will also uh, inject a little bit into this area and a little bit into the dao also so this is going to take care of my spasms here and apart from that stretch kijiye stretch kijiye yeah so these are my platysma bands ek tarike se kijiye yeah these are my platysma bands so what we normally prefer to do in as an anti aging technique is basically we hit on to this uh, platysmal bands yeah so where you see these bands is actually where you need to be injecting so that you can actually relax uh, the whole uh, the muscle there Mm. So, in a in a normal anti-aging technique, wherein like we will be injecting, so we ask the patient to you know stretch the uh, uh, stretch the mandible and then we you know inject onto the bands here. But then I'm just looking out for all the muscles which are getting into a spasm, uh, so that I can be injecting. stretch <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so if you see this, this is getting pulled here. And yeah, yeah, yes. And I think I'll be giving a little bit into the mentalis as well. So I'll, I'll hit on to the mentalis as well here. So mentalis, a little bit into the DOA, and I'll be giving three points of injection into the platysma and towards the corner also. And also I'll be hitting on to these bands, which are actually, you know, pulling That should take care of the whole spasm there. Yeah, stretch it Yeah, yeah, okay. So what I have done here is I've already cleansed 
and uh, now coming to the point uh, how much to inject i would prefer since it's very superficial the injection should be very superficial here of course this can be a little deeper but this has to be superficial because it's a very superficial muscle and uh, what i will do is i will inject in this area about 3 units in this points mentalness again i will be doing a 3 units here dao here i will be doing about 2 units here and here all all the points i would be doing about 2 2 units so uh, what i will be doing here i have injected I have loaded C X here, and uh, my dilution is 2.5 cc into the 100 units. So one second, three units, three units, and three units in this area. Uh, so i'll be injecting about 3 units into the dao as well okay i'm sorry the mentalis and uh, about couple of units into the the doa and so okay, this part is done now what i will do is i will also inject about a couple of units into this platysma bands so since i said this is a very superficial muscle so we have to be superficial so i have injected into this bands now uh, in similar way i'll be injecting into this bands as well and uh, we have to wait for as we all know the rule of 3 um, uh, the effect starts by the age uh, by the uh, by 3 days and the maximum effect we can expect in 3 weeks and as we know botulinum toxin lasts for about 3 uh, to 4 months and we should be looking at reinjecting into this areas in 2 to 4 months um nerve uh, decompression could be a surgical procedure but that's again a very invasive procedure to take care of this spasm so uh, botulinum toxin is a very effective treatment modality for hemifacial spasms